right, it's mod day. So the next thing I'm planning on doing is changing out the locks um, on the storage compartment for this. Um, because the little round key uh, locks on the storage compartment are not that secure. And there's only like, I don't know, eight of those keys for all RVs. So if somebody wanted my generators, they have like a one in eight chance of like their key working to open it up and I uh, get to my stuff. So uh, we're gonna install this today. We've already done the two door locks with RV lock. And now we're gonna do the storage compartment locks. All right, so this is the situation that we'll be working on today. Okay, so the front pass-through is the only one that these will fit. The back storage compartment on the 2910 bunkhouse is a different size, so this won't fit it. But if you wanna uh, change the lock on your pass-through storage at the front of the camper by the tongue, um, you would get this keyless baggage door handle from RV Lock. And if you want them to match your keys that you have on your actual uh, front door and rear door, uh, locks then they will do that so give them a call tell them which ones you already have and they'll match these to those so these are the only things that we're going to need um battery plate lock and then the, these are the keys that come with it you get two some screws and you need a um phillips and i have a little one too all right first thing we're going to do is take out all these screws so let's get started Okay, so when you're doing this, these four are definitely screws. These apparently on some of the older models uh, used to be rivets and you'd have to drill them out, but this actually, um, although there's a bigger space in here, will definitely fit a screwdriver. So that's nice. I'm just afraid of stripping it. <laughs> there we go. We're going to take off this one. And now that we've taken all these out and the plate off, um, and some of the other videos, I didn't see them taking this off, but you absolutely need to take this off because this won't come out otherwise. Um, so. This magnet is strong, but I appreciate that this door will stay up with the magnet, so. All right, they're pretty snug, and now we're going to lift this up. Boom, magnet works. So, this is your plate and your battery, and they go together, but first you have to uh, get rid of this. So, just take a screwdriver and pop it out. So now you have a hole there so that this can go through the hole huh, and get plugged in here, right? So ah, maybe I should put the screwdriver down. Yeah, that would be a good idea, Gigi. All right. Oh, wait. I heard a beep. Must mean we're on the right track. All right. So now all this is together, right? And so now all we have to do is uh, is get our trusty screw and line it up with probably ooh go through there there we go line it up with the first hole uh -uh. all right 
and then all the other ones should fall in place. Ah. Ooh. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. It lines up all perfectly. Yep. This is a plug and play, y'all. You don't have to make any changes. RV Lock knows what they're doing here. For that last one, I had to reach back here to make sure that this was pressed together because this screw actually pushed this back out. So if you feel it give in a weird way, just pull it down and check the back. But now that these two are in, the other two should go in pretty easily. Yeah, I feel that catching already. <laughs> Don't dent your new camper, Gigi. All right, so I always love using drills. The good thing about using a manual screwdriver for this is that you are not going to have too much torque and you're not gonna strip these out. You're not gonna go too far. You're gonna be able to feel where the give is or feel where it gets tight and stop. Um, so I'm following that advice of the people who came before me and I'm using a manual screwdriver. So now we only have huh, these four at the top and we are golden and then we can uh, set the lock. I like talking to screws, you know? I like talking to my um, projects, just asking them to cooperate. I feel like that starts the relationship off on a good, good foot. So, coaxing them. Come on, act right. Don't be crazy. There we go. So now let's set the uh, let's set the the lock. Check it. Yeah. So for those of you who haven't done this before, uh, they give you really good detailed instructions. So here's your key fob that comes with it. I scratched in an X on the back of mine because I also have them on my doors and I didn't want to confuse the key fobs. So you have your key fobs, you have a thin uh, pointy thing so you can press the reset button on the back and you have your instructions. Number one, write your new code down below. Do not write your new code. Remember it. Right again. So eight and lock button. All right. One, one, two, three, four. New code. It worked. It worked. I didn't think it did. So my new code is in there. Um, and so now I key in new code, key in the same code, and press the lock. A long confirmation beep confirms success. And you just heard it the beep, so it worked. Um, so ensure your new code is working, key in the new code, and press lock or unlock. So I'm going to do that. And I just heard it do the lock. Alright, so that's great. Um, so that programming was successful. Now we have to program our fob, right? So you have to turn the switch back here to on, which it is, and then it says press and release the fob learn button. So is that this thing here?
Okay. So press and release the fob learn button. So there's a little button here that says learn. All right, so we're gonna press that. And then a short, quick beep will confirm the handle has entered programming mode, so. Okay, it has entered programming mode. Press and release the lock button on your remote until the handle confirms a sync. Learn mode. Yes. All right, it sounds like it's working. Unlock. Lock. Unlock. Lock. Okay, so um, if programming didn't work, you can start over again. And it says if you hold down the learn button for 10 seconds, it will remove all of your previously synced remotes from the handle's memory and you can start all over again. So that was easy.